Hi. So you want to learn how to make a collar. Um, oh good, because it's probably one of the easiest sewing projects you can do. So you'll need a couple things. Ribbon, webbing, a lighter, a D-ring, a strap adjuster. These are also called tri-glides. And then a buckle. I like to use the buckles that are have a curved side and make sure you get a buckle that has two slots on the male end and one slot on the female end. It just works out better that way. Okay, so to start, you measure out a piece of webbing that is 11 inches longer than your dog's neck size. Why? I don't know. It just works out pretty well when you make an adjustable collar. I guess you can use 10 inches, 12 inches, whatever floats your boat is fine. So I'm making a collar for a 20 inch dog, so I'm going to measure out 31 inches of webbing. Okay. okay. It doesn't have to be exact. Just make a cut because this collar is going to be adjustable. Need that anymore. Now you burn the edges of the webbing, make a nice seal so it doesn't fray. By the way, this is nylon webbing. I like to use the heavy nylon webbing. I just like the way it feels. It's soft and strong. Okay. Take your ribbon, fold a little bit of the ribbon over the edge of the webbing. Now you can pin it or don't pin it, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Now what you're going to do is sew both edges of the ribbon down along the side onto the webbing. When you get close to the end, cut a little bit longer than the webbing so that you have enough to fold it under. Don't worry about frayed ed edges, it doesn't, they'll all get tucked in. You can run the collar through the wash like a hundred times and the ribbon won't fray. Do the other side. All right, clip your threads. Now pick one end of the collar, doesn't matter which one. I usually choose the ugliest one, and then slide it through the strap adjuster. You want to pull it through about an inch to an inch and a half. Now what we're going to do, we're going to sew an hourglass shape. So we're going to go across, diagonal up, cross, diagonal down, back to where we started. Just a little stronger stitch. Alright, here we go. Good, right? Good. Okay, so this is the weird part. Flip it upside down so that the webbing shows. Take the female buckle, curve side down, thread it up like this, back through the strap adjuster. It should be a little bit of a tight fit, so just pull it through. Okay. Now, Slide the D-ring on, the male buckle, go up through, and then down through. 
just like that. Pull about two to three inches through and make a sandwich with the D-ring. Now what we're going to do is sew an hourglass on this side of the D-ring and an hourglass on this side of the D-ring. Pull your D-ring down as far as it'll go, nice and tight, and then do the other hourglass. Flip your frets. And then that's it, you're done. Like I said, pretty easy sewing project. Anybody can do this. Of course, you gotta clip all your threads and be in a door. Here we go. That's it. Thank you. Thanks for watching.